Well, what you see here is fossil Sediba. It's the skull that is 1.9 million years old, a skull of a young child found by a young child. Well, with me is Professor Lee Berger. It was his son who actually found this incredible fossil. Why is this so significant? This sits right at a critical moment in human evolution, between those early Australopithecines like Lucy and between our immediate ancestors, Homo erectus, like Turkana boy. It fills that gap, and it's different than what we've been filling that gap with, which is always a fantastic thing for science to find. Now, alongside this skull, you've also found other parts of the skeleton. This was actually found by your son, literally out rummaging in the caves. With oh, that's right. On the first visit to the site, yeah. a minute and a half after he found the clavicle, the collarbone. I turned the rock over like this, and then um, I saw the clavicle sticking out. That's the collarbone here. And uh, I, w I didn't know it was at first. I thought it was just an antelope. So I called my dad over, and about five meters away, he started swearing. And I was like, what did I do wrong? And he's like, nothing, nothing. You found a hominid. Since then, we have continued to make extraordinary discoveries. We've got about 40% of this skeleton making it arguably the most complete early human ancestor ever discovered. Lying right next to him is a female that's equally as complete. Now, this is a whole new group of ancestors, if you like. What does this tell us about how humans evolved? It is a brand new species that we didn't know existed. And what it tells us is maybe the way we thought evolution was working is maybe different. Uh, it has long orangutan-like arms and more human-like hands. It's got long legs like we've got, a pelvis like we've got, uh, evolved for striding. So it was good in the trees and as good as us on the ground. And that's extraordinary. What will happen with this? Um, once if the findings have been presented, we made public, I understand that there are uh, a competition to try and name exactly this, this skull by kids. What will happen to it? Will people be able to see it? Well, remarkably, it is going on display for 10 days uh, at Mirapang, immediately following uh, the announcement of it. Then it's going down to Cape Town so that everyone in South Africa can enjoy and meet the newest member of our species.